Hey everybody, I'm back and I have here today a haul that I just did from Steel Valley Scents. She sells on Etsy. The shop owner's name is Kristen Forbush. Um, she was advertising on one of the Facebook group pages and she's actually active duty Navy and it was Veterans Day weekend so she was doing a buy two get one free sale and each one of her melts are two dollars and they're two ounces of palm wax in each of the melts. I've never used palm wax before so I'm kind of interested to try it. I think I heard that when, once you melt palm wax you can like slide it right out of the warmer. Um, so I'll have to melt these and see how they go and they're really pretty. The palm wax it kind of crystallizes in here and it's really nice but I was definitely interested in buying from her. I wanted to try the palm wax. The scents look great. Um, I'm actually a veteran. My husband's a veteran. My mom and my dad are veterans. So, you know, knowing that she was active duty military, it made me want to buy from her even more because um, I know I've been in the Navy and my entire family and my husband have been in the Navy. So I definitely understand that. And hey, Kristen, I say uh, two thumbs up to you for being able to do this while being active duty Navy. I don't know how you do it. So getting into the haul, I did get two samples and I have all of these in a specific order because I'm trying to go in the order of the Etsy shop so I can try to read the scent descriptions for some of these that I'm not as familiar with. So sorry if it takes a little bit longer. The first one I have here is a free sample in candy cane. Uh, this one is just straight up peppermint and it, it smells really good. Uh, peppermint for me, it's something that I like, but I always feel like it kind of just goes up and clears my nose. But uh, I definitely like that one. It's very festive. The next one here I have is in cranberry apple marmalade and I'm, a lot of you probably understand these but a festive blend of crisp apples peaches oranges spiced cranberries and cinnamon middle notes of black currant cassis clove and vanilla spice and a sense of warmth to this delightful fragrance zesty cozy and warming and this one smells when i smell it the first thing i think i'm i i smell in here is the apple I think I mostly smell apple in here. I don't get a whole lot of cranberry and marmalade, but I'm going to have to melt it. I just want to take one of these out so you guys can see it. You know, kind of like how that wax is kind of crystallizing or crystallizes and it's really pretty. That's a good chunk one. Um, I may not read all of these. Actually, I, I probably will only read some of these descriptions. I think this video is going to take way too long. Uh, this next one here that I have is spiced pear. That one's really good. Um, I can definitely pick up the pear and with a little bit of spice in there. That one's a keeper. Really, really nice. Uh, the next one is Butt Naked. And this is the first one that I've gotten of this scent. I think it's popular. Um, it's just like a popular oil. But this is base notes of Granny Smith apples, honeydew melon, and middle notes of strawberries and pears. You know, I, I can't tell which fruit I'm picking up in here, but this is just so, so good. Um... I, I can't tell which one of the fruits I'm picking up, but just a straight up uh, fruit scent, you know, that, that's quite nice. The next one here is Elf Sweat, and I've heard a lot about this one. I never really quite knew what was in there. This is a blend of candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup with effervescent spicy soda pop bubbles to provide a unique magical top note. This is just so good. This is probably one of my all-time favorite um, scent oils or scents, and this one is particularly good, just really great. So... Elf Sweat. Um, that one's really nice. The next one I have here is Paris, and it's an intriguingly romantic scent that captures the essence of an evening in Paris. Top notes include tart cranberry, strawberry, citrus zest, and a splash of white grapefruit. Middle notes include lavender, blueberry, creamy heliotrope, and chamomile. Bottom notes include vanilla sugar, whipped cream, warm amber, and red berries. So pretty much everything. <laughs> everything you'd ever want to smell is in here. It's got a really nice, homey, warm fragrance, like something that you'd want to smell as soon as you walked into your house and you, you know, it's not a big, a bakery note, but it's just like a really warm note. Maybe with like a little bit of a spa note in there, but um, this is something I would definitely be repurchasing. I really like that one and I don't think I've seen a whole lot of vendors uh, with that one before. This next one here is Winter Berries and uh, let's see here. Raspberry, plum, cranberry, and orange, and cinnamon zest, and a little bit of vanilla. It just smells like, um, it does smell like winter berries. It's funny when you smell those. It smells more than berries. It does remind you of winter um, somehow. And maybe it's the cran cranberry in there, but um, that's quite nice. The next one here I was definitely interested in. It is 
mandarin and chili pepper. Uh, chili peppers are not something that I normally just go around like smelling and being like, wow, it's a chili pepper. That smells so good. Uh, sweet orange, zest, red pepper with mid notes of cinnamon, nutmeg, black pepper and amber. That one smells really good. It, it smells like a, you get the mandarin, I think most uh, first, but it's not like a pure mandarin scent. Obviously there's a lot else in here, but it just smells, I don't know. It's just, it smells delicious. That's Definitely really nice. I'm getting a great sense out of all of these on code throw, so I'm really excited to melt these. This next one here is aloe vera and cucumber. That's a nice, really, really good spa scent. This is something I would definitely be wanting to melt um, in the bedroom upstairs. So, I said so far, just loving everything. The next one, I'm not going to read this in the description. Most people in wax know what this one is Fruit Loops. And I've had Fruit Loops now from a couple of vendors. I'm actually melting a Fruit Loops right now by Tiffany Candles in the entryway. This one smells really good. I mean, I can't really tell the difference, I think, between a lot of the different Fruit Loops, but um, I would definitely reorder that one. Uh, the next one I have here is Black Raspberry Vanilla. I don't, you know, I think I mentioned this before. I don't exactly know what Black Raspberry is. It probably is in here. An enticing blend of blackberries and raspberries with middle notes of white floral greenery on a base notes, notes of musk and vanilla. So I guess that's what Black Raspberry is, blackberries and raspberries. This is probably one of my favorites in here. It's just, you get the berries, you also pick up the vanilla. It's just something, just, man, I'd want to melt that in my entryway so I can get hit with that as soon as I walk in the door. Uh, the next one here is Sugared Spruce, right there. Uh, let's see, it's Combined Sweetness and Greenery. Do, 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 do. I don't think it says... Mm. Okay, I, I know I'm one of the few people, not few, but I'm one of the people that really likes like greenery scents, like pine and... Man, that one smells really good. That smells like straight up Christmas, like a straight up sweet green... Christmas. Really nice. All right, uh, next one is Vanilla Bean Noel. I'm not going to read the scent description. I think everyone is familiar with that. It's just so, it's divine. It's just so good. Spot on. Um, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Coconut Lime Verbena is the next one. Uh, tangy Citrus Limes and blend it with a creamy coconut. Blah, 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 blah. That's a nice bathroom scent. That's a nice bathroom scent for sure. I don't have a melter in my um, bathroom, but I mean, I wish I did. That would be good in the bedroom too. That's just like a really good fresh scent. Um, the next one that I have here is, oh, my iPad's not cooperating with me, is a pink marshmallow. And I've, I've kind of found out more than like the pink scents. For those of you that may not know, it's a blend of cotton candy, lemon drops, caramel, raspberry, and then also with the marshmallow. That is just, Oh, so good. So good. I don't know how to describe it better than she said. So good. Um, the next one here is pink lime. So pink, the pink note blended with lime. It's got lime, dew fruit, peach, orange, apple, mandarin, lily, berries, jasmine, lavender, sandalwood, raspberry, vanilla, musk, and a coconut base. That's crazy. That is nice. I'd definitely melt that in the bedroom. It smells, um, it smells, I think, a little bit more sweet than some of the other pink ones I've had. I think that lime is like, you know, it's like a tart. It's a sweet tart. It's a sweet tart. <laughs> That's what it is. But definitely like it. Um, the next one is cactus and sea salt. Right there. And once again, I, I really like melting this one in the bedroom at night. It's just, it's such a good fresh scent. Definitely can't go wrong. Uh, the next one here is vanilla, vanilla bean nectarine. And you do get, I'm trying to think. It says it has floral notes in here and I almost do smell a little bit of floral in there along with the, um, you know, along with the uh, nectarine. Probably another one, another one that I definitely want to melt in the bedroom, so. A keeper for sure. Uh, the next one here is sugar plums. It definitely smells like a plum. I, I think maybe I'm just not that much of a plum person and I haven't run across a whole lot of vendors I think that do plum scents, but if you like plum, if you like plum, this one is for you. This one to me smells exactly um, exactly like what a plum would smell like, you know, with the little bit of sweetness in there. Uh, the next one I have here is Toasted Marshmallow. 
That's that smells exactly like a toasted marshmallow. It really does. I don't I don't know how you capture this in a fragrance. But man, yeah, that that's that's the toasted marshmallow. Exactly. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Um the next one here is pink lavender. That's a, another really nice one. You know, you can definitely get the pink, you can definitely get the lavender. Uh, something I would definitely want to melt in the bedroom. Um, the next one is zucchini bread. This is actually my first pure zucchini bread. I've always had it in a blend, or the ones that I've had so far. So I don't have a whole lot of other zucchini bre breads to compare it to. I know some vendors are more creamy, some are more spicy. I would say, sorry, if you can hear me sniffing, I'm sorry, but this one's, I think to me, smells more creamy. Um, but like I said, I don't, I haven't been able to compare it to other vendors, so I'm not really sure, but I really like that one. The next here, one here is cinnamon buns. This one is probably one of my favorites. I mean, it, it smells, um, exactly like if I was hovering outside a Cinnabon in a mall. You <laughs> know, like, look at other Cinnabons. Just really good, really, really good. Uh, next one is cookie dough. That smells good. It, to me, it smells more like um, maybe like a sugar cookie kind of cookie dough, but definitely good. That's a really nice bakery scent. Um, this next one here is Hillbilly Homebrew. I'm going to read the description on this one. It's mulled cider with cinnamon and the perfect blend of berries. I think I get the, the cider. I mean, there's an apple note in there for sure. Um, the berries. And I think a little bit of cinnamon uh, I get at the end, but that one's definitely really nice. It makes me think of the uh, of the holidays for sure. Uh, the next one here is Mistletoe Kisses. This is one of the other samples I got in Mistletoe Kisses. This is evergreen, holiday berries, fresh fruit, and eucalyptus. I love this one. There's, you know, there's a certain scent that I haven't been able to put my finger on that has like this lingering scent that to me just smells so good. And it's obviously one of these four. I have to figure out maybe what it is. Maybe it's the eucalyptus that I'm really loving. I think that's what it is. I think I really like eucalyptus. So, hey, <laughs> Kristen, thank you for um, helping me figure that out. That one is really good. Uh, let's see here if I can get my iPad to cooperate. The next one here is Country Christmas. And this one is Wilderness Pine, Fresh Cranberry. Yeah, that one smells like Christmas. It smells like straight up pine berry Christmas wonderfulness really really nice uh the next one here is happy holidays so actually i think on the hmm, on the shop i'm not seeing a description for this one i think i can smell mostly like mostly like a, a green scent like a pine maybe with a little bit of fruit i'm really bad at trying to figure out a lot of this stuff on my own but uh i like that one and i'm pretty sure that there's some kind of green scent in there and then the last one I have here is uh, warm apple pie. And it does. You can smell the apple. It's like you can smell the sugar. You can smell the crust. Just just really, really good. So, uh, Kristen, if you watch this, I really love everything that I got. Um, it is just, it's amazing, the, your product. I'm really loving it. You know, I love the fact that you're active duty, you know, right now, and you're, you know, managing to do this too. So, um, just really good on you. You can expect me to be a repeat customer. I'm going to have to melt through all of this first, or at least most of this first before I order again. But I would definitely recommend everyone to check out her shop. It is Steel Valley Scents on Etsy is where you can find her. Like, so once again, this is palm wax. And, um, so if you wanted to try a palm wax product, you know, go for it. And I just think it is, it's just a very interesting, very unique kind of wax and I also I love the way that it's presented I like these two ounce um cups they're easy and then I'm always like a continual sniffer like if I have like a resealable cello bag I'm reopening it and closing it reopening and closing I want to smell it over and over again so these are just really nice you know that I can kind of open them as much as I want I also like how she does the Steel Valley scents here it's like a sticker that goes on here but it makes it look like it's you know like embossed here on the uh on this little ellipse so I, I like the product i like how it's packaged i love the scents i cannot wait to melt them and if i start doing like a what i melted this week kind of video i'm sure you're going to see a couple of these pop up in there and i'll let you guys know you know like how they throw and how they do so that is it for me and thank you for watching this video and i will catch you on the next one bye